so we just got back from where there were supposed to be turtles. I think we made it. Made it. I watched it. So. The old Dutch Cafe in Kyrsa. They're up at the sunrise, showing you beautiful sunsets and sunrises. And uh, we can show you beautiful sunsets, but sunrises are a little more difficult for us. We're on our way to go see the turtles. They're supposed to be available to be seen around 10 a.m. It's we're making decent time, but uh, we gotta hurry. So that's the plan right now: is to try to go see the turtles.
So we just got back from where there were supposed to be turtles and there were so many freaking turtles. There was like eight turtles, if maybe we could nine. count, maybe yeah. more. I don't know. Like at first I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe there won't be any, I don't see them. And then suddenly there was a turtle feeding off the bottom. And then suddenly there was a plethora of turtles. And I have now swum with turtles. I had communion with turtles. I did not touch the turtles. But we were like less than, you know, like five feet away from the turtles. Maybe. Less than five feet away from turtles, way less. No, no, like, and then they kept cresting and it was just so cute. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really fun. It was definitely a bucket list experience. Yes. I highly recommend. It's Playa Grande. Come at 10 a.m. Uh, I've definitely heard do not come in the afternoon. You may not see the turtles. But 10 a.m. you see the turtles. All right, look at this. This is fantastic. So we got to get back in the car and drive anyway. But uh, we're going to go over to the blowholes here. And maybe check out some of these other spots. And... And this was only like 1.6 kilometers away from the beach, the turtle beach. We just like looked it up real quick and it was like right we were, there. We were almost there because we just like, oh, I'll yeah, keep driving I'm until... so glad that we looked it up and didn't like wait till farther away. This yeah. is perfect. Perfecta. All right, rental car, let's do this. Oh, this is why we are told not to rent a scooter for this part of the island. Oh. This is a concrete road. I'm surprised it stays together. out of low hole. It's not quite a hole, not like a full hole. Close though, I suppose. You want a boogie board in this? Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna call it some way.
What's your dilemma now? Is there a trail over there? This trail, this trail over there. This trail's shady. But this trail, I think, is the right trail. But this trail's shady. It's, but that meant this is the wrong place. There's no such thing as the wrong place. Yeah. Not on this island. Then will we not get to the caves? I think we'll get to the caves. We'll make our own caves. This dig a tunnel. Cave. Dig, dig a Each tunnel. Cave. We dig a tunnel. Dig, dig a tunnel. Dig a ton of dig, dig a ton of quick before the hygienist comes. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Right. Nice chill spot. <laughs> this is where uh, you escape. Oh, hell yeah, we going down to the ocean. You get at the boogie board spot. Karen. And this place is loaded with Karens. All of them want to speak to the manager. There's the cave. Yeah. Look at us, baby. Making our way to the cave. Oh, it's a cave. I don't know if it's a cave. I didn't see I need to go to the cave. Just a cave. Oh look, look, there are little crabs on it. Little crab right there. They're moving. Look under the rock, under the bridge. Here comes a big ass wave. I, I picked the wrong time to move over here. Okay, good. Oh, don't stand up too quick. Yeah. Hey, baby. How you doing? Doing okay. How you doing? All right. Just filming this. This is badass. I am yeah. so glad we came here. Cave. It's awesome. Here is all the water. Ah! We're protected, but it's so cool. This is uh, exactly what I was looking for. I was
was hoping that the cave would be something like this amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm grinning. This is great. Gotta watch your head. If you're, if you're tall like me, you kind of just ran right up here. He's like, <laughs> no worries in the world. Man, my concussions ahead. Be careful. Ah, oh, that was freaking awesome. Okay. I almost broke my toe again. Yeah, up, up. Come on, let's go up. Up. I almost broke my toe again. Because my feet were slippery from the water cave. And I slipped. I felt the toe go, woo. Same one. Every damn time, y'all. Just trying. But it didn't happen. in a completely you know amazing all-inclusive resort like uh, we usually do so we've been off the res quite a bit res meaning resort uh, and we get to see places like this this is just amazing we swam with freaking turtles this morning yesterday we went scuba saw a bunch of crazy dogfish dog eyes whatever it's great I mean something to be said about just getting yourself a B&B somewhere amazing and rolling around. There were not B&Bs for Curacao, or at least they existed before we came in for more expensive than I thought made sense to not at least get an all closer. Yeah, so maybe there's more VRBOs, a lot of, uh, a lot of European influence around, around these parts. Around these parts, there's not much of uh, on the American tip, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That was pretty amazing, but uh, I'm just getting like a little too hot. And we haven't actually had any breakfast. No, we didn't even get coffee. I didn't even have coffee, so it's time. All right, let's get the hex up out of here. is beautiful and all but like there's room for development this is in Nolandia has seen better days I will come over here I will turn it into something else I do not know what that is I've been thinking of business ideas all day on the road right now I just want to open up a record shop and a record shop right a food truck this month but uh there's not a lot of food trucks around here one thing really local here in Curacao is their beer. It is called Montana. Uh, ironic, well, for us in the U.S. at least. But I really like their blonde. I've had their amber. That's a little too boozy for me in my old age. I like their blonde. Cheers. I'm not just saying that 
I don't know if it's from here or not, but that we've had now twice. No, maybe three times now. Are these things called autodapas? And um, they are filled with many times of filling, and they have corn on the outside, meaning that they are gluten-free and therefore crisp-friendly. Chris has been craving these until we have them back. They're really good. Steak and cheese. He's got minced meat. Last time we had crab. They're really good. We're at um, La Boheme. And uh, they, this place was recommended to us even after we had already come here and known it was a good place. So This is the same place um, where we saw the Trumper under the sign. Oh, yeah. Why is it that when we run into Americans in foreign lands, they're always embarrassing? <laughs> Where's the place? Where are we going to? We are going to the Old Dutch Cafe. Apparently the oldest uh, realist. restaurant. Like the oldest, downest, realist Where restaurant. the locals go to yeah. drink beer. And have meals, but we're just going to go just check it out. No, we got a fancy, fancy meal there where the locals don't go. The locals wish they could go there. I mean, they probably could if they wanted to. I mean, this is like former Netherlands. Some of them get paid a living wage. I think we made it. Made it. I watched it. The old Dutch cafe in Kirsta. This is supposed to be one of the happening spots. Cafe Old Dutch. It's all these uh, Dutch women that they're getting to her. She's blonde. Yeah. Queen. They're all the, blonde. Was she blonde? The queen? They're all blonde. We're all blonde. Mm -hmm. This place is pretty interesting inside. It's nice. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but it's definitely much from the inside. My baby say, hey, I just gotta go to sea. Yeah. Let's go to sea. Now she tell me it's too trashy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's still the sea. It's still the sea. But it's very fresh. Now we're like this. It's just us talking to the camera. Look, beautiful ocean. The beautiful ocean. Don't notice. Don't notice. We Instagram filtered this pool for the, you. The, the garbage around us. Guy is telling me now about how she might get arrested because the queen asked her to hold something. Listen, when the police come up and ask me why I have certain things in my purse, my answer is going to be that the queen asked me to hold her purse. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't say no. It's a Betsy Johnson purse. Why yes, would she say no? I can't say no to that. It's the queen. It's the queen. I can't say no to the queen. And when they ask me what she looks like, I'm going to be like, she was blonde. And right. I will be right. She's like some blonde accordion face lady. What she'll say. Hopefully say she that. doesn't say that. I won't say that. She won't say that. I will not say that. Hey, look at this street. Ooh, look at that street. It's very colorful. This is a colorful street. Oh, I bet this looks great at night with all the yeah. lights all lighting it up. Mm -hmm. I bet this is douchey as fuck. There's that Mundo place. Yeah, we're almost in here. Instead, we're eating at Cat's, Cat's Fancy Restaurant. It's not mine. It's Cat's Fancy Restaurant. Okay, I own it. Oh, it smells nice. like mangrove. Mangrove. I think mangrove might just mean sewer problem. No, no, it's a, it's a more sulf sulfurous smell. Yeah. Uh, waiting for our meal, we uh, stopped for drinks at the 
at Ticlista Grand Cafe. Uh, the owner is really nice. The wait staff is really fantastic. The gin and tonics are bomb. This, really good. this is I've what you should order here. Yeah, so I definitely recommend you stop by. It's a, it's a cute little place. It is uh, very nice. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Every RV you ever watch. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So we're creeping up to Kat's second birthday dinner. Are you excited about it? I am excited. And I think it's going to be pretty damn good. Yeah. Well, let's go get your birthday on. You know what you want, Tariq? Right? Have you had it before? Russian. We're trying fancy wines in a fancy restaurant. He thinks it tastes like a newspaper article from the 80s. I think it tastes like a folk's floor. Neither of us know what we're talking about. It's probably one of the best wine you see for wine too. Well. Definitely the most expensive. My second birthday is ruined because my sister wife is not a robot. This is also what I say after drinking half a bottle of wine. Your sister wife is beautiful and she loves you too. I say she can't be anatomically correct and he disagrees. Just saying. I'm Chris. And together we are reviewing Sunscape Curse Down.